Hello Capricorn, welcome. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for who to be dealing with. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, about 53 Tarot, should read for you as well. Thank you. Yeah. I think he just likes to blurt things out for attention. <laughs> I mean, an animal that stims. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's see what's going on. <laughs> you all right, buddy? You okay? Come here. Mm. Oh, I was just going to say um, for some reason, I was sensing the word or sensing the number six six six. Then all of a sudden, it shows up. Um, wow! I wonder if I was going to say. I wonder if it was going there, and it did. <laughs> yeah. seen this a couple times before um we'll see where this goes but jumping into this capricorn right away what they're showing me kind of like well kind of like a video game they've, they've, there's definitely some sort of financial opportunity here to make money and i mean very very quickly i don't know what that is um they're taking it they're doing it they're working with it they did it i don't know what that is they're saying whatever this financial income is very quickly like, kind of like magic trick um it's kind of like watch this i'm gonna pull a bunch of a wad of cash out of a hat or something um, you know, the magician top hat. It helps with stability and security, possibly a living situation. Um, but at the same time, they're also sitting with it and kind of contemplating like, hmm. For some reason, I kind of feel like they're double checking or double guessing. Double guessing by what I mean by that is they're considering like, do they want to do it again? Do they not want to do it again? Do they want to continue doing it? Do they not? Um, because they're not too sure exactly where they're at, even though they know the truth of the matter, they're not too sure exactly like, kind of how to process it, like a tough pill to swallow. Um, there's too, too much, too much, um, uncertainty, just too much uncertainty, even though it's so very clear. Um, they're saying, you know what? Fuck it. I still am who I am. I still got some sort of acknowledgement, success or attention, literally a little one. Got some sort of attention from this, which they are showing up very confident with and about. It seems like they're having the time of their life. At the same time, if they are an artist, an entrepreneur, or content creator, they are on the hamster wheel of trying to figure out their next great plan. They feel like they have some sort of ideas. At the same time, those ideas are going up in flames and give themselves some time. And now they're back to contemplating what to do. Oh, yeah, that was fast. That was real fast. Come here. You're going to play a game too? You can't make someone give in just by staring at them. Daring contest. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez Louise, I've seen this. Repeated. I've seen this repeatedly. Who is this? Who are you asking about, Capricorn? Um, 
all the other signs told me. <laughs> There you are. So he chooses to lay down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. This is that dancing cup. The dancing holy grail. Like I said, everyone else showed me the exact same energy of who they're asking about. Looking for the same shit. Um, they don't know. They don't know. Yeah, they don't know. And so they're kind of like, oh, I'm on standby. Um, they're tired. They're tired of the hamster wheel, Capricorn. They're tired. But at the same time, they do know that they kind of have to stay sharp and on the edge as to figure out what to do and kind of stay ahead of the curve on this. Um, they need to decide very quickly. Because, because they're, what they're saying is the way that things are unfolding and progressing with their finances, content, career, career, it is what it is they're beginning to see circles and they're beginning to spin and see stars and they're just trying to take their shit to the next level. They are. They're doing everything they possibly can to level up. It's interesting. It's very specific energy. At the same time, even this energy of trying to level up. Oh, <laughs> geez, Louise. Even the energy of trying to level up, they're not even too sure if they're about that life. And so once again, they're having to double check and double guess. Um, it's interesting, kind of like they're filling around in the dark here for something that they just cannot see very clearly or understand very clearly. They don't know what they want. That's so very fascinating that there's such a huge energy of temptation. Um, <laughs> it's, it's almost like temptation and addiction, if you will. They know, and that's what's fascinating is they, they, they're going through the pain and suffering because they realize what they're doing for what they're getting to the point where it's so painful that they're like, yeah, never mind. I just don't care anymore. I just don't care anymore. And that's what's fascinating is like it seems and it feels like they're having some sort of moment of gaining self-love and self-respect by not choosing the fast route or fast path or the shortcut. Heads up, they're headed towards you. Heads up, yeah. <laughs> um, they might collaborate with you, Capricorn. That's interesting. They're waiting, though. And so that's kind of their holy grail is, you know what? I might work with Capricorn because I am going through some shit. Um, they're wait it's interesting. It's almost kind of like they're, they're waiting on their finances to get a little bit better before it almost kind of seems and it feels like they want to invest in the collaboration between the two of you just so that their mind can be a little bit more at ease with their finances, clearly. So, of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with an earth sign, a fire sign, a water sign, or an air sign. Goodbye.